Hi everyone. In this video, we will be talking about the Living Guide and different policies that you should know as an RA. The consumption of alcohol or display of alcohol-related objects like posters, shot glasses, and bottles and cans is strictly prohibited in alcohol-free living areas. If a resident is over 21 and would like to consume alcohol in their room, they must obtain an alcohol permit through the Residence Education and Housing Services Office on the first floor of Wadsworth Hall. During consumption, the room door must remain closed and a permit must be visible from the doorway. Each participant that will be consuming alcohol must apply for and have a permit with them at the time of consumption. An alcohol container cannot exceed one gallon in capacity. Michigan Tech is a tobacco, smoke, and vapor-free campus and as such, smoking, smoke-free tobacco, and vapor use are prohibited in the residence halls. Violations of this policy may result in a fine of $500. Guests are permitted if the roommate approves of the guest being in the residence hall room, the guest is registered at the front desk, and the RA is aware that there is a guest in that room. Guests are not permitted during break times and final exam weeks unless they have prior approval from the chief housing officer. Guests need permission to stay for more than four nights in a row from the Residence Education and Housing Services Office. Hosts must take responsibility for their guests, and the guest must stay with the host at all times. Fish are the only pets that are allowed in the residence hall, and they must be in a maximum 20-gallon tank. Any service animals must be approved by Dr. Christy Osland in Disability Services. Quiet hours are Sunday through Thursday from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. and on Friday and Saturday and the evenings before holidays from midnight to 9 a.m. Every hour outside of quiet hours is known as consideration hours. This is to make sure students are able to do what they need to do while in their rooms. During final exam times, quiet hours are extended to 22-hour quiet hours and signs will be posted throughout the residence hall to let residents know. Due to concerns of safety and damage to facilities, all athletic activities are prohibited in hallways and common areas of university housing facilities. These activities include, but are not limited to, running, roughhousing, broomball, hockey, soccer, skateboarding, hoverboards, and frisbees and other projectiles. The Residence Education and Housing Services Office has the right to add to this list at any time. Residents should keep their keys on their person at all times and cannot make copies of their keys. Residents can be released from their contracts if they use keys improperly. If a resident is locked out, they can contact the front desk during open hours or contact the duty phone in the evenings to gain access to their rooms. The average room is 12 feet by 15 feet with two sets of furniture. Furniture cannot be removed at any point in time and the room must remain clean. Windows must always be accessible as a second point of access into rooms in case of different fire concerns. Room doors, door frames, and the walls surrounding doors cannot have anything on them like decorations or signs. There are a few reasons why we might enter a room. Some reasons are that the room represents an immediate threat to the safety, health, or welfare of students. It represents an immediate threat to property, or it represents a violation of university regulations requiring action. When a resident submits a maintenance request, they are granting permission for facility staff to enter their room. If you are entering a room, you must discuss it with pro staff and you should always enter with another RA. In the case of community damages, a notification will be sent to everyone in the house. There will be a $150 fine for facilities repairs per incident, plus there are costs to repair damages and stolen property. This bill may be paid at the front desk or the balance will be added to the student's university account. The fees will be divided among all residents of the affected house or the responsible party. Weapons and firearms are not allowed in the residence hall. The Department of Public Safety and Police Services provides weapon storage on campus and weapons can be registered with public safety through their website. Check-in and check-out of weapons occurs at the DPSPS location to the right of Wadsworth Hall. Explosives, chemicals, and flammable objects are not allowed in the residence halls. The items that fall under this list are harmful chemicals, flammable liquids and lighters, fluid, firecrackers or explosives, 
incense candles, oil lamps, or other open flame objects, cooking appliances with exposed heating elements like hot plates, or any motorized personal vehicles such as a gas or electric powered bicycle, motorized scooter, and hoverboards. In the case of a missing person, the student must be missing for 24 hours. Make sure you and your residents have filled out your emergency contact information online, and residents are encouraged to tell someone, like you or their roommate, where they are go planning on going and when they plan on coming back when they go out. More information and other policies can be found online in the Living Guide. If you have any questions, feel free to talk to your REC.